Hey, I'm Richie P and I work at Old Florida Fly Shop where today we're going to be tying Richie P's Poppin' Prawn. I start with the B10S size 1 odd or 1, you can do whatever you want. Right here we got a size 1 odd. Just do a little thread base on it, a little bit past the bend of the hook. And we're going to tie in some medium estaz. I do it in hot orange. You can do whatever colors you want to do. This Just make it your own, but this fly is great. It swims really well and it's pretty easy to cast. Great top water. Caught a whole bunch of things on it already. We even caught a seagull. No birds were hurt. Just palm this around a little bit. Make a little bump. Because this is going to help hold up the craft fur. I like to turn it a little bit on the side so I don't get it in the way of the hook point. And tie it off. Next we put down some craft fur. I definitely recommend investing a little bit, just get the extra select. The fiber's a little bit longer and it's just a better product. Just get like a nice size clump and you're gonna get the under fur out of it and try to stack the hair so that they're nice and pointy and all sort of even. And then this is going to go about inch and a half past the bend of the hook. All these colors that you can use, you can change them a little bit, however you want to do it, make it your own. But these are some colors that we use when we go out there catching redfish or whatever we're going for. Caught snook on it, redfish, tarpon. After the craft fur, I'll tie in two little pieces of crystal flash. These are sort of the antenna. So I just do them a little bit past the craft fur and have them sort of angled up. I'll hold them out and then I'll snip them a little bit past the crapper. After that, I have size small crab eyes. You can use the crab eyes, you don't have to, but it looks good. I just do them about a half inch past the, uh, the bend of the hook. So I'll tie it in a little bit and then I'll tie in the other one just to get them even and then I'll cinch them down. And if you buy the pre-made ones, they're all the same length, so you can probably find out the length by just seeing where they're at at the end, as long as they're even. This base is really good to just get it a little bit wider to give it a little bit more of a body when you, we do our little dubbing throughout the body snip off the ends and now I have two pieces of foam one's gonna have more of a shorter arrow point to it and the second one's gonna have a little bit of a longer arrow point this one's just gonna go right to about the bend of the hook the point of the arrow the second one has more of a pointier bend to it and this foam is really easy to manipulate the first piece of foam is two millimeter the second piece is going to be a three millimeter piece of foam. That just helps it stay afloat a little bit better. And do it about an eye length, half eye length away from the eye of the hook. That will leave you room to be able to tie in your weed guard if you want one. If you don't want one, take it all, tie it all the way down to the, to the back. And like I said, these colors can be your own. At this point, I'm going to tie the second piece of foam in. This one's going to have more of a pointier edge to it. I'm going to do this one about an inch, right, an inch past the bend of the hook. And this is going to be the beginning of your first segment. So I'm going to cinch it down. And now I can take this foam and pick it up. I'm just going to go right behind it. I'm going to start dubbing in. I use the Cohen's Carp Dub. 
crazy olive, which is more like orangey yellow, but it's got silly legs in it. It's got everything you want to have a pretty sexy fly. I'm just gonna put a little bit of wax on it. You don't have to. I've tied them with it and without it. It's whatever you wanna do. But this got the silly legs. It's got the dubbing. It's got everything you need. Here I'll actually double pretty thick dubbing loop of it. And this is gonna be your first segment. I'll even go back over some of it because that gives me some, it sort of locks down like the silly legs and everything else. And it makes it a little bit more bulky, which is great too. And at the end of all this, we're gonna um, brush it out. So you definitely wanna have a good brush. All right, after you get your first little segment, this, this first segment's gonna be pretty, is gonna be your bigger segment. So I give it about a half inch and cinch it down. Each segment's gonna get a little bit smaller. So give it another wax, add some more dubbing. But I like to make these like pretty thick bundles. I do like it, it looks like a tarantula brush or something like that. And then you go over it like once with your thread to lock it sort of in. And this, this one's a little bit smaller than the original. Here we go, this is gonna be your last segment. We make a three segment shrimp here or prawn. That one's actually a little, a little dense for my liking. But you can use whatever colors you want. But I do like this dubbing because it, it's got them silly legs in it. And just cinch it all down. If you have anything that's sticking out that you don't like, just cut it out because those legs do like to go everywhere. Gonzo. All right. Now I'll pick these two pieces of foam back and then I'll go to the eye of the hook. And when I turn it over, this is gonna let your bobbin just dangle, and now I'm gonna just brush out these fibers. I just go back and forth, and then you'll get them exactly how you want them to be. And you'll have your legs out. This is sort of crucial, because if you don't do it, you're gonna have a real tight bundle. And now, I'll end up tying in my weed guard. You don't have to, like I said. If you want to, go for it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but it's nice if you need it. And if you don't need it, you can just cut it when you're fishing. And at this point, we'll do our little whip finish. Almost done. All the tines done. This leg's a little wild. I'm gonna take him out. All right. Then I'll push these foam pieces back in about a half inch from the the tail. I'm gonna make it the top one. I'm gonna go straight across. Then I'll cut off the the corners and sort of make it tapered. There's a little leg in there too. Now the second piece. I'm gonna go straight across as well. And right in the middle, I'm gonna just cut right down the center. This is what's gonna help you give it that extra little pop. And there you have it, Richie Peas, Pop and Prawn. Great little fly. I hope it works for you and easy tie and looks great in your box. Have a great day.